UK visa holders, time to go digital or go home. UK visa holders urge to upgrade documents as Home Office implements digital border changes. The UK government is making significant changes to its immigration system, urging millions of UK visa holders to switch to digital e-visas. As the Home Office replaces biometric residence permits BRP, with e-visas by January 2025, this transition aims to enhance security, simplify processes. However, concerns are rising, with some campaigners warning that the shift may create a digital windrush scandal. Topics discussed in today's video update. Replacement of biometric residence permits with e-visas. Government campaign and support for vulnerable groups. Concerns over potential digital issues and windrush scandal. Impact on those with legacy immigration documents. Get up to date immigration information by subscribing to our channel. Press the bell icon and share our videos on Facebook, WhatsApp, and X with your friends and family. Let's dive back into our video and discuss the shift to e-visas, a key change for UK visa holders. By the end of 2024, UK visa holders must upgrade from Physical Biometric Residence Permits BRP, to digital e-visas. This change is part of the Home Office's effort to modernize border security, offering enhanced convenience and security. E-visas will eliminate the risk of lost or stolen documents allowing visa holders to instantly verify their immigration status online. It's time to talk about the support for vulnerable groups. The UK government is investing £4 million to assist those who may struggle with the digital transition, ensuring that vulnerable groups receive the necessary help to apply for their e-visa. Now, let's explore the concerns of a digital Windrush scandal. Despite the intended benefits, campaigners like the Open Rights Group are raising alarms, citing concerns that the system could fail, leaving visa holders vulnerable to errors, crashes, and other technical issues. They fear this could lead to a repeat of the Windrush scandal, where migrants were wrongly denied their rights. Let's end the video with today's conclusion. While the digital e-visa system promises increased security and efficiency, concerns remain over its potential pitfalls. Visa holders are encouraged to take action now, ensuring their transition to the new system is smooth, while campaigners urge the government to address potential issues to avoid a disastrous outcome. Our video ends here. Don't forget to comment below and share your opinion with us. Thanks for watching today's video update.